Waterton Canyon is very popular this time of year, and it is reopening. Some good news for you on a Friday. Take a look at the map. This is where it's located, the canyon southwest of the metro area. It's very close to Chatfield Reservoir, as you can see here. It's been closed because of flooding. 7 News reporter Eric Looper live in the other canyon this morning. And Eric, this reopening still doesn't mean the water is any safer. That's very true, Mitch. It may not be flooding the trails, but the South Platte is still raging. But first and foremost, Washington Canyon. Take a look. We're still seeing this notice here that it's closed due to high water, but we're being told at any moment crews will get here and they will open up these gates and people will again be able to start using the trails. But Douglas and Jefferson counties both have bans in place on the South Platte. Take a look with me here. Tubing and swimming still banned. Single chamber rafts are also not allowed. Here's what is allowed. We're talking kayaks, whitewater canoes, professional guided rafts, and multi-chambered river boats. Just because it's allowed doesn't mean it's safe. This man, 63-year-old Jerry Young, was killed after he lost control of his inflatable kayak over the weekend. He was kayaking near Basalt. This is a photo of Young from the Aspen Times. He was kayaking in the Frying Pan River when he fell into the water. That was on Sunday. But back here live talking about Waterton Canyon, you can already see we have a hiker waiting patiently to get in. But again, the gates are still locked up. He says that he was told they were supposed to open about an hour after sunlight, so he's here, he's ready, he's from Florida. He says he's been delayed several weeks. He came here to hike, couldn't do it because of the high water. He's very anxious to get on the trails. By the way, Debbie at the DenverChannel.com, she actually has a blog, everything about Waterton Canyon on our 7 News app, so be sure to check that out. This is a very, very popular trail this time of year. I'm Eric Lou for 7 News Now.